What's up guys, Django Builds here with a showcase for my transformable triple decker couch mech. So let's talk about this guy. I'm really proud of how this turned out, not only because of the fact that I was limited to just the pieces that were available in the Emmett's Triple Decker couch set, but also because I wanted this to have no parts forming whatsoever and I accomplished that goal, which I think is really super cool. So taking a look at this guy, he has the three separate couches, which is obviously one of the most important things to get right about this. And he has the coffee mugs on each side. Something I was a little disappointed about was the fact that the supports holding each couch look different from level to level. But that's just something that needed to be done, not only because of the limitation of the parts in the set, but also because of how he needed to convert. Uh, you can see he has the ladders on the side, which was also another important detail to capture and something that made um, solidifying him in his couch mode really easy to do because this guy is rock solid when he's a couch. The transformation is a little bit sketchy in terms of stability and everything, but then in um, his mech mode, it's stable again, which is pretty nice. Turning him around to the back, you can kind of see some kibble which was sort of unavoidable just because he has to have um, arms and legs, of course, and that's kind of hard to make out of big, chunky couches. But you can, you can obviously tell their arms and legs, and from the side it sticks out pretty far, but from the front, I don't think it actually looks too bad. It's kind of hidden behind these supports, and then the only other kibble that it has are these rods right here, which basically help it not to parts form. And I actually have grown to like those details. At first, I just figured it was, um, it had to be there, but I've, I've grown to like them. I kind of look at them as maybe some piping on a wall that's sitting behind the couch. And I think it adds a little bit of something. This guy can hold minifigures. They can sit on each level. There's enough friction in these hinges to support a couple minifigures. And then on the top, there are obviously studs to hold him. That's mainly for mech mode, but it works well in couch mode too. And then there are even some studs on the side of the middle ones, and you can do some poses such as like laying down, maybe he's taking a nap. And of course, he can hold the coffee mugs on each side and maybe enjoy a nice cup coffee before this guy transforms. So yeah, overall, I'm really happy with it. It was really hard to figure out how I needed to collapse the body um, without doing any parts forming. So I was really proud of when I figured that out. And yeah, that's about it. So let's get down to transformation. So I usually like to start off the transformation by switching Emmett's face to his angry face which I've taken the liberty of doing off camera, and then standing him up on the top couch. The nice thing is he can stay on while we're transforming it. So I think that's pretty cool. We can start by taking these arms back here and just straightening them out to get them out of the way so we can work on the legs. So we can come down here and there's actually a little clip that we need to rotate so it's in line with the ladder, and then we kind of wiggle his whole leg up so that bottom clip attaches to the ladder, and we want to get it past that first rung, so now this has freedom to rotate, and then once it gets there, I just like to spread them out all the way, just like that. This is one of the more fragile elements of this guy. And um, since it's just connected by one stud, you can easily put it back. 
it's just that side piece of the couch. But that'll probably fall off a couple times on you. It's hard for it not to when it's Lego. Anyway, we'll do the same thing over here. This is one of the more finicky spots of the transformation, but it's doable. All right, there we go. So now we can go ahead and just bring the leg out to ratchets and same thing on the other side. And then we can worry about finishing off the bottom of the legs a little bit later. Now we can come up here and detach the ladder from both sides of the topmost couch, allow them to just fold down to the side. So that basically freed the legs up and we can take them and bring them down. And then we can take the waist and rotate it down as well. Now, another tough part is getting these side pieces to go in front of this middle couch. So what we'll wanna do is bring them back a little bit, then rotate the middle just like that, and then rotate this down so we can move this whole assembly to the side. And that will kind of allow us to bring this down right here and then maneuver it in front. And we also wanna rotate this pneumatic T around. So we'll do the same thing over here, rotating the couch the opposite way, bringing this down and moving that to the front, rotating this bit. Perfect. So now we have that. Oh, and then when you transform it, I have a tendency to always wanna grab right here, but that will pop this piece off just because it's connected by a two by two jumper. So something to remember is to just hold it in the middle of this piece. All right, now we can take the middle couch and separate it from this section. And that makes this part pretty flimsy. So what we wanna do is just kind of start to collapse it, not all the way yet, but we can solidify it a bit more by moving those lightsaber bars down into these pieces. So now we wanna make sure that everything's out of the way and, and that just means basically moving those down a little bit more. And then you wanna focus on this assembly right here, right in there. It's kind of tough to see. Let's see if I can get a little more light on that. But it's basically just this clip right here. And what we want to do is push that up into the spot where the bars are sliding through. And what that will basically do, oh, now I took this off, it doesn't want to go back on. But what that'll basically do is allow us to collapse the body without the rod sliding down further than we want it to. So it's just, it acts as kind of a stopper. So we can do that. And then we want to make sure the other side is in the same position so we can push the top of the couch down all the way. And that collapses the entire body. So now we want to make sure they're rotated all the way down again. And then we can lift these up and put these pneumatic tees into these anti-studs right there. Same thing on the other side. And now we have his abdomen all finished up. While we're here, we can just rotate these mugs to the side. That's a step that I always forget, so it's better to do it early on. And we can actually do that same thing down here. And what that will allow is for us to push this ladder up against the coffee mug and then rotate the rest of this up and onto the leg. Then from here, we can just rotate the bottom portion of the leg up and we'll repeat that on the other side. These clips have very interesting tension in them, so they, they like to pop off a lot, but just being careful about it, you'll be able to get it done. So there we go, that's rotated. Now we can take this waist joint and just move it all the way back. We wanna make sure that everything is staying together at this point. 
then we can just kind of move the legs out of the way for now. Moving on to his arms, we can make sure this is all the way up and then rotate this coffee mug out and slide this bottom piece of the couch down. And then we can rotate this whole assembly and hinge it so it sits over the coffee mug on this top couch. And that's actually one of my favorite pieces of transformation. It's just so fluid uh, and the, the movement is just so smooth that it's really fun to do, especially when going back to couch mode because you can kind of just quick flip this in, slide this back, and then you can do this cool movement where you just do one rotating motion and it brings it all back together. And I really, really like that. It's a lot of fun and it just makes for an enjoyable experience. But anyway, we can move that back and then we can splay out his fingers. So we'll do similar to the other side. We can make sure that's all the way up, rotate this out, hinge that down, and then bring that over the coffee mug. And on this arm, all you need to do is rotate it around and get it in a position that you like. So there we have Emmett's triple decker couch mech fully transformed and in its mech mode. In his mech mode, this guy shares very little similarities to the depictions of Emmett's mech in the Lego set and the movie. But I think that's okay, because when I look at this guy, I see samurai armor. And I'll explain what I mean. So looking at his shoulder, I think the way that these panels split gives the illusion of layered samurai armor that you typically see on the shoulders and the hips. And similarly, the rungs of the ladder give off that same kind of aesthetic. Looking from the front here again, these coffee mugs, they kind of look like little ornamental bits that you'd see on different types of samurai armor. And then additionally, the way the waist flares out looks like a type of skirt that some samurai armor has. And altogether, I think it looks very cohesively samurai, and I just really enjoy that type of look. So something cool that you can do with this guy is you can move the shoulder out of the way, and that gives you access to these coffee mugs. And what you can do, of course, is give them to Emmett, and they can kind of act like remotes for the mech. And then once you have them off, you can actually move the shoulder into that clip and it kind of holds it in place and makes it a little more solid. And the I think the best part of that is you can have them on still so it's not parts forming, or if you want to, you can take them off. So you have both options there. All right, so then looking at him from different angles, from the side, I think he looks a little bit janky, kind of weird just because his hips are raked back really far and his shoulders are pretty far forward. But when looking at the whole thing from a straight on side view, you can kind of see that the pilot seat is in line with the lower part of the legs. So it kind of lines everything up and makes it a little less jarring to the eye. From the back, I think he looks pretty good. There are only a couple of anti-studs that uh, don't look too good, but especially the spine and the way everything collapses together makes it look very mechanical and robotic. And I really like that about him. So going over some articulation, his shoulders are pretty articulate. You can make use of these joints back here. There's a ball joint here, so you can get really crazy and go all the way out to the side. Um, but you can also use this ball joint if you don't want to destroy the sculpt and you can move it forward and back a bit. You can also rotate it so it moves forward a little bit more and it moves out to the side a fair bit. His elbows have pretty much the full range, which is nice. And then his fingers are on clip hinges so they can move in that one direction. Same thing for this arm, except no fingers, so he can just swivel at the saw. No waist articulation due to how the transformation works, which I think is okay. Um, 
but that means that the hips are a little bit limited as well. They can go out and do the full split, so that's nice, but forward, they can't really do that much. A way to compensate for that, however, is you can move this piece forward and then they can kick way up. So that's pretty nice. Now, the knees are a little bit awkward just because of how these clips are set at an angle. He doesn't really have a proper knee, and when you try to kick back, his leg just goes way out to the side. Now, you can compensate for that by turning this ratchet more towards that way, um, which would be an okay to, way to deal with it. But what I like to do is mistransform the thigh by moving that coffee mug back up. And then what that does is it allows you to move this ladder up, and now it's at a straight angle. So basically when you move his double jointed knee back, it goes straight back. And of course you can ratchet this so it's straight as well. So I think that that is an okay way to deal with the knee articulation. And then of course his ankle is just on a ratchet joint and that can move side to side, which is nice. So overall, he's pretty articulate. Um, something that is a little unfortunate is I've had this guy built for a couple years now and the mixel joints are beginning to get a little loose so I can't put him in too many dynamic poses without the legs just kind of failing on me. But he's still a pretty expressive guy, all things considered. So you can see that despite some of those limitations I mentioned in the posability section, you can still get this guy in some pretty great looking poses that are pretty dynamic. And overall, I am pretty happy with this creation. I like the fact that the couches move the positions in the way they do because looking at the robot mode compared to the couch mode, it can be kind of hard to tell which one is which. And I think that makes the transformation pretty interesting and enjoyable. Additionally, I like the samurai aesthetic that he gives off. It makes the mech mode look really unique in my opinion, and I think it complements the color scheme well. So I think that's pretty much it for this guy. I have building instructions for him posted on my channel, so if you guys want to build yourself a copy, make sure to check those out. I hope you guys enjoyed, and this has been Django Builds showing off my Emmett's transformable triple-decker couch mech. See you guys later.